we're going to discuss how to remove a chest tube. Um, now, these chest tubes that we're oftentimes placing in interventional radiology are these uh, multi-purpose drainage catheters. So um, it's important to realize this one is a Dawson Mueller MacLock uh, 10 French catheter. So this particular video shows you how to remove this particular type of tube because they have different locking mechanisms. But um, anyway, regardless, the important things to keep in mind are uh, what you need at the start of the case. So you'll need some type of clamp to clamp the tube. Um, depending on your preference, oftentimes people use Xeroform uh, to kind of put over the hole to prevent any um, air from getting in uh, for their dressing. And then some gauze and a tegaderm. The size will vary depending on the size of your tube and kind of where you're doing it. I just kind of have four by four and a medium tegaderm here. Um, and you'll need some scissors uh, in this instance to cut the tube uh, to release the suture. So let's say, you know, this is our chest tube here. Um, we know that we want to remove it. Kind of what I would recommend doing is just getting everything ready to go. So, you know, if you like to use Xeroform, what you can do um, is just cut yourself little piece of zero form that you're going to use um, and you know you may be removing this on the floor you may be removing this in you know the IR suite regardless of where you're doing it the technique is similar but um, kind of your considerations for uh, what environment you're in may may vary and change But uh, here we'll just have a little piece of Xeroform, okay? And that's gonna fit over the hole very nicely. So we can just set that to the side. Then what we can do is have our, uh, have our Tegaderm ready to go. And we'll just use one of these four by fours. And sometimes it's okay to kind of do a larger tegaderm just to get a little bit more sealing, uh, just again to kind of prevent any uh, chance of kind of sucking in air and getting a pneumo um, after you take your tube out. So then what we will do is we can clamp our tube like so and at this point, you know, with these drains, kind of they have this locking pigtail that's on the inside. And if we cut the tube like we do here, this will release the suture that's running to the pigtail. So now it will be unlocked. So now basically what you can do is get ready to pull the tube and you can put your zero form right over so basically what we're going to do is kind of warn the patient that we'll be pulling the tube and then we'll have we have our dressing within reach um, and the tube this whole point is clamped so we're not going to be bringing in any air so we'll just put our finger down here let the patient know that we're going to pull this may be a little uncomfortable but we pull firmly and now we have sealed up you know the hole with our finger oh don't draw yep keep it keep oh, be careful that it does not you know come off unnecessarily and then we just can take our dressing and put it over the area and kind of just push down and we've taken out our um our chest tube now all we have to do is there we go And then just dress it. And this, you know, again, you probably don't have to use something so large, um, but this gives us plenty of margin here with sealing action. So we feel confident, and in about two days, this dressing can come off um, and the skin should be healed. Um, but that's how you can pull a chest tube. You can do that on the floor, um, in the suite if you need to. Uh, that's just the basic technique for this type of catheter.